right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakach Rash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim. Wa Akwath, learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. This is going to be another video through the Spirit. I'm going to keep this very short. I'm on the road. And I actually want to get through a couple more videos, you know, while I'm sitting here. And you can see what this is, all right? I'm not going to get all big and screamy and loud. This is why you need judgment established in the earth. When you let human beings do whatever they want, they will start to do things that are unnatural, that are sick, and that are twisted. On the left-hand side, you have this girl who recently went viral for performing on ghetto gaggers. If you know, then you know. She got disowned by her family. On the right, you have what you're about to witness. Not only the uh, a young woman who went to perform on ghetto gaggers, but she was taken there by her by the blessing and admonition of her mother. This world has got to go. The mother is supposed to teach her daughter to be chaste, good, obedient to her husband, to be a proper young gal, to maintain her virginity until she finds a husband, not to spoil it on pornography. Let's let this play for a second. Let's get some scriptures and let's get the holy hell out of here before we start having nightmares, y'all. All right, we have a pretty interesting uh, ending here. Passion rose. You came in. You did get a it all up. You were an emotional mess. You couldn't do it. Nope. Let's talk about that. Well, what was the deal? Why, why'd you turn into a big crybaby? <sighs> At first, she couldn't do it because in her spirit, her Israelite spirit in her, because it looked like she's a Jake, her spirit started rupturing it up inside of her, trying to tell her not to do it. So like, let me start with the scripture real quick. Let's see what the scriptures say that the older woman should be teaching the younger woman. This is what the women should be taught and instructed in, all right? Titus 2 and 3. And so like if it's hard to hear me, like I said, I'm on the road. It says, the aged women likewise, the aged women likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not giving too much wine, teachers of good things. Her spirit knew that what she was about to partake in was not holy, which is why at first she ran out. It said that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of Yahweh be not blasphemed. And this is something that is in every woman's spirit, whether they want to admit it or acknowledge it or not. That is why when women proceed to do horrific things that go against their spirit and their order, at first there may be that hesitation, and which is why this man Esau Edom has set up organizations to persuade their mind, such as the feminist movement. She ran out of there because she knew that what she was about to partake in was wretched. It's just too intense for me. It's too much for me to take. And I thought I could do it and just couldn't. And you could. You're not the first, and I'm sure you're not going to be the last. But here is what is going to make you epic. I'm not even bull****. This is like, this is a first for me. Mm -hmm. I've dreamt about this my entire life. No lie. Mm -hmm. All right. Earlier in the shoot, tell me who dropped you off. My mother. Your mom. Who is behind you right now? My mother. Your mom. What the f is she here and what's what's getting ready to happen? Well, my mom is going to sit here and watch me do my scene and she's going to be coaching me and keeping me calm, cool, and collective. Mom, come over to the side here. I got I to gotta talk to you. Yes. I mean, this this is a little fucking weird, right? I mean, you're... You're gonna watch your daughter take two loads to the face. Yes. Have you ever done that before? No, I have not. No. You may be wondering what are they doing, but you know what? I'm <laughs> and that's everybody's facial expression right now, I just about imagine. If I was the father, that entire part of the city would have got blown up. This place must end, y'all. This is not a. There's no. I can't. You can't. There's no reasonable explanation that you can give to justify this which is why even the guys that were about to be recording and performing even they were asking the mother what is wrong with y'all two why would you partake in this knowing what we're about to do to your daughter all right and what this show you is that all of them 
were raised up improperly. They weren't raised according to what I just read in Titus, How to Be Proper Women. They were raised more so along this. Sirach 16, uh, Ezekiel 16 and 30. 16 and 44, Salakia. Behold, everyone that uses Proverbs shall use this proverb against thee, saying, As is the mother, so is her daughter. And that is what we're seeing, especially amongst the nation of Israel. Absolutely disgusting. There's no reasoning, there's no logic, there's no piece of paper, there's nothing you can say to me or to anybody that can justify that. Imagine, imagine you walking your daughter to go get sexually abused by a bunch of heathens and then put on the display of the world, the internet to see, you know. It's a hey, this, this this it's a wrap, y'all. You know, hey, hey, brothers, I I hope y'all enjoyed your Jordans. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, you know, your, your hey, I, I myself like chicken sandwiches. Everything that's here is about to go. We can't all this shit. The a hey, we the Lord is about to call, and we need to get up out of here like Sodom and Gomorrah because this place is about to go. This is one of many reasons why Babylon must be destroyed. The abominations of the harlot. Let me get that real quick. This is one of the abom. This is one of many. If you were to ask somebody, or if someone were to ask you, hey, why does God not like? Why do y'all say God doesn't like America? Let us show you. All right. Revelation 17 and 5. And upon her head was a name written, and upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and the abominations of the earth. This is one of many of Babylon's abominations, which is why it's called the har it's a harlot. All right. When you a lot of times you're reading the scripture when it's referring to har a harlot or a, bom a, a harlot or an, uh, fornicator, it's dealing with spiritually. But what we're witnessing is this mother is physically giving her daughter away to literal abominations, literal harlotry. As is the mother, so is her daughter. So if the daughter is on, who on the Lord only knows the type of shit that the mother got into. The Lord only knows the type of shit the grandmama and the great-grandmama got into. Absolutely horrific. It's like it. We'll get one more and then we'll go back to the video. We'll let it play out and end it. Like I said, this will be a shorter video. I just wanted I just wanted to bring this to y'all's attention, man. Like what the f like like for real, man. Like what the fuck, y'all? It's like yeah. Like, where's the sanctity? The sanctity at? Is there anything left holy? Is it, are we gonna? Would would these people truly corrupt everything? And I guess the answer is yes. There is no bounds. There is no limits. This motherfucker would do it all, which is why Esau Edom will be destroyed. Because notice, this is called. It's Edomites that are allowing and running that company. So we have to take this man out of power. So this type of behavior is put down. Amos seven and seventeen. Therefore, thus saith the Lord. Thy wife shall be an harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, and thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land, and Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land. And that's exactly what happened prophetically to the nation of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Your women are uncontrollable whores. Our sons are getting put to death, and they don't listen. They're killing each other, gang-banging and going to jail. We were removed in slavery. And we now reside in the land of our captivities. Every single part of this happened. This is why we have to turn to the Lord. Let me get another one out of the law and we'll go back. Deuteronomy 23 and 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. All right. This is why there must be judgment in the gate. This is why there, there were stonings. All right. This is why there was beheadings, hangings. You have to kill wicked behavior until it goes away. Now, your daughter spoke very highly of you. You were her rock, is what she said. Like, you're her support system. This is weird, though. This is really f***ing weird, man. Like, my mind... Keep in mind, this is a... This is... I'll say it. This is a pornographer. Even he's saying that this is weird, y'all. And imagine the type of things he's seen and participated in. A lot of the motherfuckers go both ways. Even he's saying this is weird. This place is at its zenith. It's climax. It's at its the peak of its wickedness. It's time for Babylon to fall. Is blown 
What's your take on this? Do you when even uh, when even Babylonians are telling other Babylonians that they're going too far, that's how you know this shit's a wrap. Do you approve of your daughter doing porn, or do you just support her because she's doing it? I approve of it because it's her decision, her body, and her choice. It's so crazy how it's always their decision and their body, their choice, and their mind, and all that stuff whenever it's something they want to do. But at the same ability. And why she also drove her the woman that she probably promised her some of it. A lot of girls come in here, they don't have that positive reinforcement from their mom most of them don't even know who their fucking mom or dad are that yeah. come here you're probably not familiar with our site are you no i can't say that i am okay if, if you were you probably wouldn't be sitting here we're heralded as one of the more like degrading humiliating basically the last stop on the fucking road to throwing your life away hmm. you know so congratulations on that <laughs> um but having your daughter sit there and being called names like bitch, whore, slut, I mean, is that something you approve of? Or do you wish maybe she chose a different style of You know, again, and everybody has to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. so obviously, she doesn't care. That's yeah, so obviously she doesn't care. Like I said, I don't know if y'all can hear that, y'all, but she's the dude was basically asking her, you know, do you approve of what she's about to do? And she's going to roundabout in a way say yes. Everyone has to start from somewhere. So, you know, hey, y'all could type this up, Pink Book Lessons. It's a recent video. You can see. I'm not even going to bother leaving the link. I just don't have the, I don't care to. The Heavenly Father is about to send his son, and his son is about to, like it says, he's about to, what is that, Isaiah, uh... 42 and 14 i have long time holding my peace all right it says but now he's about to cry and travail like a just uh, like a he's about to cry like damn it let me go get it then i'll come back to this uh, <laughs> leviticus man this place y'all dog boy Isaiah 42 and 14, I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrain myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. This place will be utterly destroyed and obliterated. It must needs be. And Yahweh Shai is going to come do it without a second's guess. All right, without a, without a, he's not going to hesitate. Little things like them two are going to be destroyed. Leviticus 19 and 29, do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Least the land fall to whoredom and the land become full of wickedness. And that is what we're seeing, which is why there must be rules and regulations. And if nobody is following them, then the whole world will become corrupt. Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh will come put the rules and regulations back down and put all this shit back together. All right. So I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachachorash. That honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and citations to all like Akim, Wa Akwaf, learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. I'm gonna say Shalom.